Hey guys, it's Tim. And Delia. And welcome, welcome to, to our shop. shop. Welcome to our shop. Welcome to our shop. <laughs> so it's been a little while since we've done a video. Yeah. Yeah. Why is that? My birthday. Her birthday. How old are you? Ten. Ten. Double digits. Ow. Which actually leads us to our next project, doesn't it? Yep. So I got a pocket tool. Yep, yep. Miss Adelia. It has scissors. Yep. You gotta show everybody everything. Yeah. Um, a Phillips head screwdriver in the bottom mm -hmm. of the Um, the flat head screwdriver. Put a little closer so they can see. <laughs> and it's over here. A flat head screwdriver. Look in the camera when you show it so you can make sure they Tweezers. see. Tweezers. That thing in the bobber. It's a smaller fly screwdriver. And the best thing about it, it has a saw. Yeah. We cut a stick yesterday to practice. Yep. What's in the middle? Uh, yeah. Got my pliers. Pliers. Which does have a wire cutter in there. Oh, and it also has um, a ruler. Centimeters yeah. and inches. Centimeters and inches, which is good. Uh, that's the Leatherman Leap. Um, so I got my Leatherman uh, a while ago, and I really enjoyed it. So we got you yours. And which the is... downside about this one has nothing to do to clip it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, all it has is a lanyard hole, which lanyard isn't really, really good. So with nothing to clip it to your pocket like the other Leatherman tools have, like mine has just a little um, pocket clip right here, which is what I use to clip my skeletal uh, in my pocket. So we need to get a clip for yours. Um, and side note, for those of you guys thinking about the Leatherman Leap, you really dig it so far, right? Yeah. It does have a knife, but the knife comes uh, unattached. And, and it's so basically as a parent, you can decide when your kiddo is ready for the knife. And we're gonna give you a few weeks or a month or so on that, then see if she handles it responsibly, then we'll add the knife to it, and then she'll also have uh, the knife, it'll be opposite of the, the saw. See this slot here is empty for the knife. And everything does have locks on it too, so it should be pretty Except cool. for the smallest ones. Except for the small ones. So yours opens easier too. Made for small hands. <laughs> so uh, you don't have an easy way to put this in your pocket. No. It's I just really big, don't. falls in there. So we need to find a way to clip it to your pocket. Now, I don't see, I mean, we'll have to play with it, but I don't see a really solid way to add a clip to this by itself, right? Because mm -hmm. it would be in the way of your locks, things like that. So we decided to do what? Make a pocket thingy that clips. A sheath. I don't know what it's called. It's called a sheath. Sheath. It's like she, and then like the end of the word teeth. Eeth. Sheath. Okay, I doubt I will remember that though. You'll remember it because we're going to make one. We're going to make a sheath uh, out of old leather. What do we have laying around? And this extra clip that we have. An extra clip. That's the same leather that I used to make my wallet earlier this year. Which is kind of handy. My wallet that I have. So uh, that's what we're going to work on this time around. Mm -hmm. Got to figure out how we're going to do it too. Not we're not necessarily going to be using wood this time. No, still working in the shop though. Yeah. Shall we get to work? Yeah. Let's see if we can figure it out. Here we go. <laughs> so we did some research, right? Yeah. Trying to figure out the best way to come about. We actually made some paper <laughs> versions. To kind of plan. I don't know where the other one went. And then we watched some videos. And we decided to attempt to wet form or stretch the wet leather around your tool, right? But we don't know if this is going to work because we're using repurposed leather. Stuff we pulled off of an old portfolio. It's already been, you know, processed or whatever. I don't know. I don't know that much about leather. But I think it looks cool. There you go. It basically just like nailed it down. <laughs> Pretty much. If anything, that'll give us the guide to use for the holes to sew it together. Mm -hmm. So what are we gonna do today? What are we gonna work on? 
the back and getting this one done. No, we'll figure it out as we go. That's how we always do it. All right, you ready to give it a whirl today? So where are we at with the sheet? Um, we just need to put our clip on, pretty much. And we're good. And check it out so far. I'm pretty impressed, kiddo. You did a good job stitching on that. So we think we got it figured out, because we don't have like a rivet gun or anything, do we? So we're going to cut, um, we did this the other day, and we have the clip. We're going to cut a hole on the top, go in, back out, slide it down, and then we'll mark where that's at down there. And we tested it a little bit ago with this. Actually using a spare or some of the bits from the snaps we used earlier to kind of knock it on there. And I think that'll be it. Ready? Mm -hmm. Hello? I said mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Dork. Alrighty, so? We finished it. Done. I learned a bit. Check it out. So Adalia's Leatherman Leap Sheath. It ain't perfect, is it? Mm -mm. Just the way we like it. <laughs> there you go. You got to work that snap in. Most importantly, I'm showing it. In my pocket. Yeah, you want to clip it down. So you can clip like that in your pants, or these ones are elastic band, but if you have a better yeah, pant right on there. But now you have a better way to carry it than like in your giant wide in your pocket, huh? Yeah. So what do you think? You like it? Yes. Cool. And if you just might actually clip onto a belt if you're wearing jeans. Yes, it would clip onto a belt very easily. So and you could do too is you could almost do like what I do where I tuck the tool in is if you want it to be in your pocket yeah you could tuck it like that you could tuck it in like that <laughs> if you're worried about it falling off or something but it should be good to go you'll get used to it good to go yep all right now on to the next project what do we make next hmm. why don't we make French cleats we get it up to the shop but Halloween is around the corner yep we should probably make Maybe a princess or queen crown. Yeah. Guess folks will have to stay tuned. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more of our craziness. Yep. You learn along with us. Give it a whirl. You never know. It might just work out. Anything else? No. Nah. Bye. Bye.